With the increased resolution of HD cameras, it's very important that you use a good lens. And whatever lens you use, make sure you're using the optimum aperture. Aperture, or the iris, affects several things. The most obvious is exposure. If you open the iris too wide and let too much light in, then you'll overload the image sensors and end up with an overexposed image. Close the iris down too far and you'll have a dark, underexposed image. The other thing the iris affects is the depth of field. When the iris is wide open, at say f2.8 or even f1.9, the lens will have a shallow depth of field. That is to say that only objects at the distance the focus is set to will be in sharp focus. Objects closer or further away will be out of focus. In this example you can see that only the red flowers close to the camera are in focus, while the pink flowers in the background are blurred and out of focus. With the iris nearly closed, say between f11 and f16, you'll have a much greater depth of field with a much deeper range of objects in focus. Now the background flowers are much less blurred, the image has a greater depth of field. The focal length of the lens also has an effect on depth of field. As you zoom in, the depth of field becomes shallower, as can be seen here where the distant flowers become blurred as the camera zooms in. As we have seen, a small aperture gives the greatest depth of field, but if you close the aperture down too far, the picture will become blurred and look out of focus. This is caused by diffraction. In standard definition, this often goes unnoticed, but with HD it can be very obvious. To maintain the highest quality images, you should always try to keep the aperture between f8 and f2.8. You should use either the camera's built-in ND filters or external ND filters to control excess light.